here we find ourselves at about six o'clock at night at a typical rental yard and this is where we're going to pick up this high lift crane and bucket assembly so you can operate that bucket from up above it's got dual drivers on the back single in the rear and the front steer but it's only a steer and uh, you've got a little bit of everything here from bulldozers to track loaders this is a bucket truck on a track loader we don't handle those those are these are with flatbed trailers only truck tractor trailers these are drills here for like a pole cat putting in poles this is a tugger pulley to pull lines across the rivers and valleys and mountains and this unit keeps the tension on your ropes to pull with this is going to be a tugger that's going to pull you can see the ropes right up there these lines and that'll be at the other end of the river pulling these through this pulley across and you can see out back there are plenty of other trucks ready to rent and all the way down here trucks ready to go there's my little car there hooked to that uh, basket this is pretty typical of yard picking up now remember I was telling you that you had to be careful Oh, this is a monster here. This is a uh, winch puller with five miles of cable on it. And man, they're overweight. And they have a tough time getting them over scales. You have to find your way around the scales with that one. But you can see this yard. And this is a medium small yard. But... Uh, Remember I was telling you that uh, you always check your VIN or your unit number before you hook up to it and take it in any way? All these trucks here, starting there and all the way across, are all ready to go out. They've already been rented or leased and they're ready to leave. The keys are hidden on them, usually over the front headlight or in the first toolbox. But pretty much any driver can come in here and take a vehicle and take it to its what he thinks is the destination the only problem is if you take the wrong truck you owe for getting it back here and then getting the other truck out and they can charge you mileage and usage for that vehicle this one right here is interesting this is five miles of rope Kevlar rope that's the uh, thing to keep the tension on it. And here is a puller. That's a tugger that you'd put on the other side of the river or a mountain to pull that rope, that five miles of rope, and keep tension on it. Interesting things. These are mostly utility, uh, but over here you can see some of them are railroad equipped to work on the railroad right there. So they're just starting into that business. You haul some of those too, but most of them with an extra two and a half ton of railroad wheels and gears and hydraulics to bring it off the ground on the rails puts them overweight going over the scales. So it's a concern. I'll give you a little bit closer look at this tugger. I've moved quite a few of these and I want to tell you they're a beast. They got 12 drive tires on the back. All those axles drive. And it is a beast. They're actually on, usually on a peat truck. And they're pretty, uh, pretty darn easy to drive. Regardless. That's the, uh, that is the arm that keeps that cable winding onto that spool straight. That's five miles of cable. This is a big John Deere with a transmission to drive it. There's my truck on the right. Pretty much a brand new truck. 
I'm going to take that one out to Fort Wayne, Indiana. This is that big tugger on a Pete chassis, international, international, and a port down there, all ready to go out and service. You literally could pick up any one of these trucks if the keys are in them. And there's your typical railroad truck right there. Keys are in them, and it's very easy to make a mistake. Pick up the wrong truck. So if you take it out a thousand miles to the wrong place, you figure then bring it back, you're going to be charged out and back probably $2,200 on top of wear and tear and on top of the $900 to $1,000 in fuel you put in it. That comes out of your pocket too. Plus the price of moving the real vehicle and the delay comes out. So you're maybe five, six thousand dollars out of your pocket. Beware. Check the VINs. And like I say, this is no baby. As I open the door, here's eye level, so the seat is up here about three foot above me. And you're about two and a half foot above a tractor trailer. You can look down in the tractor trailers. And there's the keys hanging right there. They're usually over the front tire, but there's no place in this truck to put them. Every time we pass this dash, 